Well, hello. It's me again. I am, I guess, about a little over 24 hours out of surgery. It's been some trauma, but I made it. And you can too. If you've got the need for a gastric bypass, I'm telling you, this is the place to go. They treat you great. A lot of them speak English. Um, ask for a different mattress if you can. Yes, ask for a different mattress if you if can. The black ones are horrible. Um, I think the girl next door heard me saying I cannot believe they want me to be on this for four days. Um, but Leticia got me a different mattress and it's great. Um, much better than the other one. I don't think I could have made it if I'd had to be on that other mattress. So that has definitely been my saving grace. Um, I've been up, I've walked around. Uh, I got to the water machine and it just looked so good. I wanted to drink the whole thing. So I turned around and walked the other direction. Um, now it's raining, very nice soft rain outside. Um, the rooms are good and cold in case anybody needs to know good air conditioning. My mother says the rooms are nice and cold, good air conditioning, I agree. Um, I'm just enjoying the rain right now and wish I could drink it until I drown. <laughs> um, I'm very, very thirsty. But this will be the worst of it, I guess, the next few days until I can get something to drink. I know you're loving my hairdo right now. Um, I know I am. <laughs> I'm looking pretty rough, but pretty good for everything I've been through the past few days, so I'm not going to complain. Um, made some phone calls. That really helped. Missing some voices, missing my husband and my friends, so called and talked to them. I've got my mother here with me, so other than that, um, we had a little bit of a mix-up, I would say. Um, the doctor was supposed to call my mother when I was out of surgery, and she never got the call, so she sat here and waited and waited and waited, and so finally, the front desk and ask you don't finally get a call. went to the front desk and um, asked where I was, and they said, "Oh, she's in recovery. She's been there for two hours." So that was a little upsetting that she didn't get the call and couldn't call my sister who has all the numbers of the people to call who wanted to know how I was doing so that was a little frustrating I have to say and nerve-wracking I'm sure but I was oblivious so I didn't know what was going on um, early surgery. yeah if you've got blood work and EKG on one day and your surgery the same day don't get in any hurry you're gonna be here a good long while and I must say, <clears throat> when you go in for your surgery, it is nothing like when you go in the States as far as when they put you out. You know, I've always, I've had two surgeries and in both of those they put the oxygen mask on you and they're talking to you nonstop and letting you know what they're doing and putting... Uh, you know something good in your IV to make you go to sleep and there was no oxygen mask and there was not a lot of talking and I felt something go in my IV and my eyes just kind of fluttered and rolled back in my head and then I felt something else go in my IV and it just like decreased my breathing dramatically which made me just panic but I was so out of it from whatever was in the IV that I couldn't say anything and then the next thing I knew, something else went in the IV, and then I was out. So, but there's just no gradual increase or decrease of cognizance. It's just like one, two, three, and you're out. 
but that decreased breathing really freaked me out so I'm just letting you know in case it happens that way for somebody else not you know don't panic you'll be okay I was um, I don't know I just wasn't expecting that but I'm okay so well, I'm gonna stop taping now and I'm kinda tired makes you tired to talk and you're so thirsty <laughs> You just want to, I want to lick the window at this point <laughs> and get the rain. So, anyways, I'll make another video again sometime later. Bye-bye.